Continuing with the Alpine GS tutorial, in this one we'll be taking a look at how we can toggle UL elements. So the first thing that we do is define state and here we're defining state over here x data open is set to false. So by default the open status or state is set to false and then we have a button over here. Now this button has a click event. So we are saying when the button is clicked set the open to the toggle state. So if it was set as false it will be set to true or vice versa. Now with key down you can choose what should be the behavior when a specific key is pressed. For instance, over here what I'm trying to do is whenever the escape key is pressed, I'm trying to set the open state to false so that the menu closes. Now over here in the UL, we are accessing the state that we defined x data. Now here what we are saying open x show. So whenever open is set to true, this will appear or show and whenever we are clicking away from this child element anywhere then the state open will be set to false. So let's save this now and see all these things in action. So by default the open state is set to false that's why the UL is hidden for now. Now if I go ahead and click on this button it will open up and it will display this message welcome Matt. Now if I go ahead and press the escape key, you can see the toggle menus state was changed back to false and it closed. Now uh, if I go ahead and click again, it will appear and now if I click anywhere else, so I'm clicking away from this UL, you can see that it closes again. So that's how we make use of state and keyboard events in Alpine JS.